The audit is our first opportunity to really get a feel for what the challenges are going to be and what the existing culture already is. We engage with some folks that have a pretty good background on stretch film and have some blocks in place to really make good improvements, but then we meet some people that have never thought of it once. When we're doing a film audit, we're wanting to understand what are the current standards that are being held or what kind of standards need to be put in place. So we spend time with every wrapper and we observe it wrapping. And then from that point, we're gonna take some measurements. We're gonna take containment force tests. We're gonna take, uh, do cut and ways to see how many ounces of film are being utilized. Count revolutions up top, down and bottom and start to get a feel for just how is the film being applied today and in which way could it be improved, changed, altered in any way. We have the luxury of having a technical group that has a ton of expertise with stretch wrappers, both maintaining them, repairing them, you name it, our guys have seen just about everything. And so when they're going into a customer's facility to do a machine audit on the stretch wrapper, they're looking for everything from common wear parts to film delivery system calibration. They're trying to figure out mechanically, is it sound, what needs to be replaced, but then also electronically, how is it operating, is there any limitations within that operation, and how can we add features or benefits that ultimately will increase the load containment and that machine's ability to wrap a load successfully.